What's going to be the key to beating this team today? Hit the ball. Hit the ball hard. I've been doing Senior Olympics 28, but been playing softball all my life. How are you feeling right now? Good. Yeah, ready. I'm ready. I've been playing for about 30 years, maybe 35. Another one coming. <laughs> we laugh. We laugh at each other. We laugh at ourselves. Good luck, buddy. We all want to win, but it's the friendship. Hey, hey friend. Hey, yeah. <laughs> well, I have a quote that I like to use. You don't get old and sit down, you sit down and get old. One, two, three. We do these traveling tournaments to get prepared for the Senior Olympics. <laughs> when we're playing and we're out there, we give it all we got, you know, and it might hurt. It might kill us when we get done, but we're out there giving it all. Are you like really competitive? Very. Yeah, very. very. Yeah. All yeah. of us are. You guys do a lot of trash talking out there? <laughs> no. Not, a, not us. <laughs> we would never do that. <laughs> We're ladies. Go, Spirits, go! Woo! Woo! <laughs> We've heard about it for a long time. We thought it would be fun to try it sometime. We were going to do it last year, but then it was canceled. Oh, they tell me your love's like a flower. My dad and my family has just been coming here forever. I like it's it a lot. So it's really fun. I've been here uh, one other time. I didn't do much fiddle stuff during quarantine. I wasn't getting really to socialize with other musicians as much. This has been great, getting back. The Fiddler's Convention has put Galax on the map all over the world. I got involved in it in 1965. 56 years. I'm 93 years old. When you see these young people out here, how does that make you feel? That feels great. Feels great. Because that's our future. The music. And traditional old-time music. I just tell them it's the oldest and the largest fiddler's convention in the world. Come and visit with us. For us, the holiday season is one of the highlights of the year. And, you know, in many ways, today was uh, the beginning of our staff getting into the holiday spirit. With COVID, you know, this is so great to be able to this year to have people be able to see this ceremony and be part of um, uh, you know, what is truly one of our traditional times of the year. We officially christen it as uh, Tree Day and uh, everyone goes around kind of uh, jokingly go one, two, three, pull. One, two, three. I was a little worried when they came to the door because I heard a cracking noise. I thought the tree was going to snap or something, and I was like, oh, God, that ain't going to be good. The old joke is how many people does it take to raise a Christmas tree? Well, at the homestead, about 25 people. When you see Christmas trees, it, it, you, know, you, know, you know it's Christmas time.